Right, Shrum and Farm, you fat fucking states. <laughs> Welcome back to the MST Systems YouTube channel. I'm gonna teach you today about the number one thing that I'm absolutely shit at, got a good excuse though, grip training. Grip training for strongman. How do you implement grip training? What is the best way to do grip training? Because you'll see a load of people online doing rolling funders and they'll be doing fucking all this random shy. What is best for you guys to do to improve your grip? Because obviously grip is quite specific in strongman. It tends to be around farmer's walks and extended holds, like Hercules hold. Now and again, you'll get some kind of pinch grip, double over and axle stuff, but in in general, it's relatively, you know, smaller handles and like squeeze strength it is. And obviously squeeze endurance because we've got to hold for a certain length of time. So how's best to train it? Well, the thing with grip guys that we've got to do is we've got to make sure that it's something that you're doing every single week for the whole training year. And this is one of the biggest mistakes I see people make in Strongman is that you don't train your grip every single week. And there are ways that we can build in easy habits to do that can help you with your grip strength and can just help you make sure that every single year you're getting better at your grip work. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is habits. This is the easiest thing for you to do to improve your grip strength over time. Habits, getting rid of your straps, only using your straps on deadlifts. Anytime you do any exercise like um, pull-ups or rows, whatever, no straps, just chalk always. Rotating grips on things like, we basically guys, you should be doing pull-ups or you should be doing passive hangs at least. And if you're running the app, by the way, I make you do passive hangs at the start of every session. And I, and I say in the video there, change your grip. You know, if you've got, if you're in another gym and it's got some weird fancy fat bar hang, do it from a fat bar. If it's got them balls, you want to hold some big bollocks, hang from these fuckers, does not matter. Just getting the same result, the opening of the lats and overhead position, but we're training the grip. Building in habits like this will help you improve your grip strength. Other habits you can do, making sure that you make every single plate you carry back to the rack hard as fuck. So pinch grip all your plates. Every single, if you use bumper plates, pinch your two 20 kilo bumpers, walk them across the gym. Every single time you load every single plate. When you're doing your normal 20 plate, you know, grab them, you know, with a pinch grip instead of going underneath the lip, grab them with a pinch and carry them. When you're picking up like your 10 kilo plates, if you can do a hub grab, grab the hub. Really simple, easy habits, because what you're doing then is every single day you're in the gym, you're gonna be loading plates. Every single time you're putting plates on and off the bar is an opportunity to subtly train your grip and increase the work capacity in your, in, in, your, in your grip strength. What I do is when I put 20 kilo plates on a bar, or I can actually do it with 25s now on my right hand, I'll never do it on my left hand nowadays. But yeah, I pinch grip the 25 and I'll upright row it onto my squat bar, or my bench is, is even easier. I put it on my bench with one hand. Little subtle habits like that, if you do those things every single uh, training session and you haven't been doing them, trust me, in three months time, your grip will be a lot stronger because you'll have accumulated so much volume with easy to recover from loads that you don't even think about and you've almost made it a job like we all know that people with manual jobs that are uh, constantly like on a fucking spanner or whatever they have monster strong grip don't they and it's because of the subtle exposure to a little bit of stimulus every single day so if we can implement that type of strategy into your training it is going to help and there are loads of other little things you can do guys like you know when, when you do your dumbbell work just make sure your farmers carry the fuckers wherever you're going instead of carrying them one at a time like a lazy bastard don't use straps you know when you're doing like dumbbell shrugs if you do you know what i mean all these little things they just add up so much now the second point and one of the biggest weaknesses that i see in strongman when you think of any other muscle group let's think about your quadricep would you expect your quads to get strong well, not strong, we'll say strong, as strong as possible without the use of concentric and eccentric contractions. Purely isometric. I'm hoping the answer is no. And that's the same for grip strength. In strongman, we need to just break down the, the actual muscles and how they're stimulated just like any other exercise. And this is a common mistake that people make in strongman, is they only do isometrics and they don't take the hand 
through a full eccentric and concentric contraction. We've obviously got flexion and we've got extension. Now, I do not believe personally that you need to train your extensors unless it is for rehabilitation of some kind of shoulder, elbow, niggle or tendonitis type feeling due to maybe a bit of an imbalance or something there. I believe ex the extensors are a real, they're, they're not gonna hypertrophy very much. They're really low work capacity we don't need to train them too much so we don't really need to do much extension strength but we definitely need to get some squeeze and crush strength through a full full range of motion how do we do that well captains of crush grippers i advise people to get a set of captain of crush grippers and literally just once or twice a week make it a habit at the start of a session to do like a couple of sets of 10 just normal and then inverted or something just track it like just keep it as a habit just do 10 left 10 right three sets a couple of times a week maybe you do you know or regulate you do once a week the next week if you feel like you're getting overtrained and then twice just doing some grippers habitually and the reason why when i put this in for clients i put it in at the start is because when you get to the end of your session and you're a bit fucked it's very easy to go i can't be asked doing that whereas if you do it first in the gym as part of your warm-up and movement prep then you're able to just get some easy background grip strength gains in through a concentric eccentric contraction and what we need to remember is that grip strength is just the same as any other strength we have strength potential and we have strength extraction you need to increase your strength potential which you can be doing through hypertrophy of the specific area which we can get through the concentric eccentrics I would also advise you to control the eccentric a little more. Make sure you're going all the way through and controlling that eccentric because we're gonna get a little bit more muscle breakdown and increase that, that hypertrophy response, e.g. more strength potential through the concentric eccentrics. The next point that I wanna, wanna add in is time. People often use farmer's walk as their main grip driver because farmer's walk is obviously one of the most common strongman grip events. However, it's actually a fairly poor exercise to train for grip if you stay within the specifics of strongman. Why? Because most people will train farmer's walk over 20 meters, and that is not really a test of grip strength for most, it's a test of speed strength on the actual implement. You know, you're only getting, if, if you're a decent athlete, you're probably getting a 10 second, 20 meter run, which is 10 seconds of time under tension. So I would advise in your training to, to do two, one of two things, or, or just follow the MST Systems, you know, app, farmer's walk program, I mean, and it auto regulates and rotates all these things perfectly for you. Um, click the link down below, seven day free trial. But you can add in holds at the start, holds at the end of your run. You can do extended runs, 100 meter runs, 200 meter runs. You can do heavy 20 meter runs followed by longer 80 meter, you know, rotating and training different times. And what I mean by time is the time under tension that you're actually working for. Because if you're just training farmers over 20 meters and they're fairly light, you're gonna be getting them over within 10 seconds. Yeah, you're not gonna be getting the same adaptation that you want if you're only doing those. They are good, don't get me wrong, but you need to expose yourself to more stimulus than just a 10 second farmer's run. The final piece that I'll probably give is pinch grip strength being one of the, in my opinion, the least useful for the majority of strongman events. However, if you are extremely weak at it, it will, it will help and it will carry over. So again, just like the grippers, you can add in an axle double overhand or ideally, honestly guys, if you can get like a fat grip bar on a pull-up bar, just doing some hangs like, yeah, just doing some, some hangs on, on a fat bar will get your pinch grip strength brilliant. Or if you've got fat grips, just add them. You can, you can also add fat grips onto a dumbbell and do croc rows. That's another common one I'll use. So yeah, your pinch grip strength, I wouldn't prioritize it, but I would, if grip's a real weakness, I would make sure you're hitting something at least every other week on the pinch grip. And yeah, fat grip dumbbell rows, you can go with um, axle bar bicep curls, you can go with uh, reverse axle bar curls, axle bar double over and deadlifts, hangs, single arm passive hangs on a fat bar. Yeah, just basically building, building a weekly structure that you can adhere to, or a bi-weekly structure if you're gonna do pinch grip every other week, that you can adhere to and you're hitting all those points guys so if you if you're getting your habits in 
grip habits, making every single thing you do in the gym every single day a little bit grip orientated. You're getting concentric, eccentric contraction with prioritizing the eccentric. You're making sure that you're rotating the time under tension of your grip work, not just sticking to like 20 meter runs. You can do 20 second holds. So say you're doing Hercules holds instead of farmers. Train 20 seconds, 40 seconds, train 90 seconds, train EMOMs, mix up your grip tr uh, strength, okay? And then finally, pinch grip is the lowest of the priorities in my personal opinion. Every other week is more than enough. And just implementing a pinch grip exercise into your training that's really easy to do. So if you really like doing single arm dumbbell row, just put fat grips on for the rest of your life and you're sweet. If you really like doing lat pull downs like me, I've done a lat pull down every day for every week for 15 years. Throw fat grips on your pull down or use, use a Watson fat grip uh, lat pull down bar or something. All these little subtle changes will help you build the big grip. Grip strength you need to know is a marathon, not a sprint. You need to build habits into your week so that in a year your grip is 10 times better, but it isn't gonna happen overnight. It needs to be weekly habits that you stick to and it will add up over time and snowball. If you do those things, you will get a strong grip. How do I know? Because my right hand, um, I've got terrible grip and I've got terrible um, anthropometrics for grip strength, but I've managed to get my right hand very good at grip by implementing these habits. Unfortunately, as you may know, this is my left hand. It's all gammy and these fingers just do their own thing. So I will never ever have a strong grip, unfortunately. But you ain't like me, you ain't got one answer, so you'll all be all right. Hope it helped. Subscribe, motherfuckers.